Hi everyone, my name's Tracy, welcome to Crochet Rocks and this is a finished object Friday. I invented that, you know, mine. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome and if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and hopefully you'll get a notification now and then. If you don't, incidentally, if you don't get notifications and you want to, over on my other channel which is called Rocksteady, I'll put a link in the description box to that, I did a whole video on how to reset your notifications if you don't get them and the reasons why sometimes you don't get notifications. For instance, I did a live stream last night and not many people got notified and it's because I'd uploaded four videos. So they'll only show notifications for three. Didn't know that. Anyway, I digress. So if you want to reset your notifications, head over there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, show me some love over there. So that's cool. There's lots of other help videos on there. There's one about COVID. There's one or well, lots about YouTube. There's out and about. So there's lots of stuff. Anything that's not crochet related, basically, over there. So, yeah, finished object Friday. I thought I would do that because we do a Whip Wednesday, so let's do a finished object. And I do have rather a lot of finished objects at the moment, which I'm so pleased about because, as many of you know, over Christmas just before Christmas rather, beginning of December, end of November, I had some bad news. And so that kind of put me behind with a lot of my tutorials. And then I got COVID. So that was the end of that. I wasn't gonna get any of my Christmas stuff done. Any of the Christmas tutorials that I wanted to do and it all just, it all just <laughs> disappeared. So um, I've had quite a lot to do now because if there was things i'd started or promised people that i was going to make and anyway so finished object number one is only just finished but i did sophia's scarf and i made her a hat with this absolutely gorgeous yarn it is beautiful it's james c brett there's a hair of mine always make a hair in your products don't you anyway um <clears throat> yeah, and I made this to go with a hat that I made her. I made a pom-pom for the hat. I need to trim this pom-pom. So um, I, I'm not really useless at trimming pom-poms. I always find bits that need trimming. And then when I do it, I find, you know, maybe I do it a bit low and I have to do the whole thing. So I will, I will do them. I'll, before I give it to her, I will kind of have another go with the scissors. But this is for a child who is around um five to six years of age but on the tutorial for it there is a way of measuring to get the right length for your child so although it, she is this size uh, the tutorial is good for everybody and plus you know i've made this for a girl but you can make it for a boy it's not exactly holy it's just like a rib so if you did it in more boyish colors isn't it weird these days that we still consider colours a girly or boyish? But we do. So, <clears throat> that's that one. That was my first finished object that I've got to show you. So, I made one of these for myself and then I made this one for Gemma. And this is now finished. I had to wait for more supplies of the yarn because um, I'd ordered three balls and it takes... Um, it takes not two but I would say about one and a half. So I needed another ball to sit, to make this one for Gemma. And I'd, I'd got about that much done. So once uh, the new yarn arrived, I was able to do the rest. But this is an infinity scarf and I absolutely love this. I've got my own one and I wear it all the time. So this one's Gemma's, but I, do, I have got a tutorial for this as well. Now it is the same stitch as my wrap. And um, I'm going to be doing the tutorial for the wrap very, very soon. That's going to be my next my next one. Um, it does look a lot different, the stitch, though, in that wool and this yarn, should I say. That's a throwback to when I was a child. All fibre stuff <laughs> was called wool, whether it had wool in it or not. That's what it used to be called. It's quite weird, really, because I always like look back and think, you know, when my mum taught me, I was six, and... Um, we didn't crochet, we crocheted with a crochet hook. It was called crocheting. 
you know that's what it was it wasn't crochet it wasn't until the resurgence of interest in crochet and the internet when um it started to get this crochet name <laughs> but you know for many years it was just crochet anyway I, that's just a little aside but this is one infinity scarf that i made and i absolutely love this yarn it's um stylecraft cabaret and this color was called underwater rainbow and it's just gorgeous they're all gorgeous i've got quite a few of them now because you know i couldn't resist them now this has been a finished object for a little while but i do need to give it to him so i'm going to post this off to harley because otherwise you'll never get to wear this hat and i know this is too big for tyler so i can't exactly give it to him but i love the pom-pom i did on this one it's more of a chunky yarn and it's so soft but that one will be going off and i do have a tutorial for this hat but not this size i have one that matches the scarf um this is in the, with the scarf you can either do it in this stitch or you can do it in the stitch for the scarf because i do have two hats um one is for a newborn and it's done with a half treble half double in the us and this one's done with a double crochet in the uk which is a single crochet in the us so you can do either either or for both of them so i've got both of those kind of tutorials one's a newborn though and then I made this infinity scarf, which I just, where I'd been working with such dull, not dull, that's beautiful, I think, but, you know, not vibrant colours, more like an underwater rainbow. I decided I wanted to make one that was full on a rainbow. So I got this kind of cluster stitch and decided that I really liked it. So one of my subscribers, Margie, is making this, but making it into a blanket. And that's like strange as it may seem i had that idea myself when i was making it would make a beautiful rainbow blanket so i may just do a tutorial another one of my hairs worked in <laughs> there's one of my hairs and everything a little bit of me and everything i make how about that so yeah that's another one that's another infinity scarf that i made but it's more um bright colors now obviously i chained changed yarn every two rows so you don't have to make it rainbow you can do anything you want you can make do change every row so that then they would look like flowers because they do have a little like look like tulips to me you know there's the stem and there's the flower so um i was thinking of doing a border on something with that as a flower but you could do you could do green at the bottom and then flower colors on top and then a white in between you can do anything you want but that that's another finished object so this has been knocking around for quite some time and it was almost finished but it just i didn't ever get around to finishing it completely but now this is done the all ends are sewn in and it is completely and utterly finished so this is quite a large blanket when i was first making this I was going to make it as a seat cover for this chair or for cushions. I was going to do a cushion of it and a pillowcase and put, because I do have a big memory foam pillow that I was going to put behind me. It looks a bit ugly at the moment because it's fluffy and it's off white beige, but it's down there because it, it's not, it doesn't cover the seat as well. So um, I either need to like work that out, but this is what I was going to do on the on the seat and uh, for my chair back but obviously not with the big white border but that was one more that was a, just a blanket I did I did a tutorial for that one as well but it took me forever forever to get around to finishing it so last night I finally finished this big blue baby cot blanket and this, although he doesn't sleep in a cot anymore, this one is for Tyler. I'm going to make one for Harley. But they do like to, well, he does love to drag a blanket around. He likes to drag them all around with him, Tyler. But, you know, they both sort of fall asleep on sofas and things like that and like to cover themselves up. So this is perfect for that. And this is made with that fluffy yarn. I did have some out, but I think I might put it back. Where are we? 
this one is obviously a different colour, but it's made with the Melody yarn that I got in Pound Stretcher, and it is really fluffy. Um, it's a very thin strand, and it's kind of like a an unruly chenille, if you like, you know, like fur. It is a fur. I'm trying to find just one strand. There we go. There's a strand. So the actual cord itself is very fine but with all this fluff like an eyelash yarn it does bulk out so I'd say it's more of a bulky five but this one's pretty but I've got several in this colour and I've also got one that's rainbow colours like it's pastel rainbows with white so I shall although I finished this one and normally you can put out the bunting that you finished your object I need to start all over again and make another one and then I'll probably have another couple to make so I love this. So just you feel like you could just wrap yourself in it. And, but it is beautiful. So those are my finished objects. But I have some almost finished objects that I will show you. So um now this I've been working on this for quite some time and then I I put it away. And then when after I got over the covid thing I wanted to sort of crochet again but I didn't have anything in mind that I wanted to make, if you know what I mean. Sorry, my slippers fell off, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to get it back on. So, you know, I was kind of faffing around, like, I, could, I didn't have any creativity, I just needed to crochet. So I thought, just get your whips, Trace, and finish the whips. So, I've been working on this one, and it has grown to a monster size. So it's not far, really, from being finished. And I still have two of these, which are the swatches I used to do the border tutorial not quite done but i'm going to uh, chain do put them together and make it into a pillow so there's that one and then i did the new pillow which i've lost maybe it's here oh here we are these all these now need to be done is put together and a pillow inside so obviously there is a tutorial for this one as well i first made it was going to do a poncho and so in black and white, obviously this one's not finished. But that's um, that's a tutorial as well. And this is the wrap, which isn't finished. But I didn't want this to be like a big, massive pon pon what's my poncho, a big massive kind of shawl. I wanted it to be more of a a little wrap kind of shawlette. And at first I was going to use this to make like a pocket shawl, but now it's just. A nice shoulders over the shoulders wrap and it's made with that um, James Seabrett um, Northern Lights that's the word I'm looking for and um, so I shall do the tutorial for this it's made with the same stitch as um, the, inf the, the infinity scarf but done the other way so um, it's lengthways easier to work with it that way as well but I like the way this stripes you can do it either way but it makes your rows extremely long doing it the other way so the tutorial for this will be coming out soon um, and uh, I think that's that's it I don't think I've got any more I probably will find some stuff once I finish this I did start a little Easter project which is out there and um, I'm not really showing that just yet but uh, I'm going to do a few more and then I might, I might bring that up and show and do a tutorial on it. If, if I kind of think it passes, passes my standard, we shall see. But at the moment, I think that's all my whips. Although, you know what, I will, I will find something else that I've finished. I know it. It's always the way, isn't it? Anyway, that's my finished object Friday. So thanks for watching. And, uh, Stay tuned. This will be coming up very, very soon because it's more or less finished. I just need a border on that one. And then let's get the tutorial underway and, uh, and finish it off. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Stay safe. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye for now.